no battery being externally powered by this USB power bank. The only thing separate the camera from the water is this piece of silicone. And we're in. We are still recording. Today I'm going to show you how to make a waterproof external battery connector for the GoPro 7 Black battery. This will also works on the GoPro 5 and 6 Black models. So what I have here is a GoPro 7 Black model. The battery on this model is a 1.2 amp hour and the battery life is horrendous. I can barely get 20 minutes of recording time now on this camera. And if I shoot in 4K resolution, the battery life is even worse. And I have to change out the batteries like my wife changing out her outfit before she even leaves the house. It's just ridiculous. I mean, the battery part, of course. I know somebody is going to be watching. Anyway, so clearly something has to be done about this. Luckily, this GoPro 7 model has a connector on the side that allows you to plug in a 5V external power source. This is the same for the GoPro 5 and 6 black models. I'm using a 20 amp hour power bank to power this camera. This battery pack is 17 times more capacity than the original GoPro battery. And this is just an average size power bank. With a bigger size power bank, you can just power the camera all day long without having to worry about it. With an external battery like this, you can use it to charge the internal battery or you can just use it to power the GoPro even without the internal battery inside. The problem is that it's not going to be waterproof and the camera is now exposed to dust and most importantly water. And with an exposed door like this, it doesn't take much for water to get in and damage the camera. So over here I've got my USB power bank and it's an older power bank which doesn't have USB-C which this camera requires and it comes out my USB cable comes out with a micro USB so I have a micro USB to USB-C adapter I'm gonna plug it in here now I can plug in the camera on the side here now I can turn it on here we go cool so it works without the battery installed, see, here it says, no batteries. The problem with this is that it goes through an adapter. So the connector here is quite long and it's quite clumsy. And it's easy to be broken. Especially when I move around with this GoPro, right? It's designed to move around. So this is going to break away easily. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to eliminate this connector and I'm going to cut the wire and solder directly onto the USB-C connector. So here is my USB cable which I cut and stripped the wires. Here is my connector which I removed the plastic outer casing and this is what it looks like inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this connector and solder my wires directly onto the USB connector. And before I solder the wire to the connector, I need to know the pinout of the USB micro USB connector. There are five pins on the micro USB connector, and there are only four wires here. So here is the pinout of this connector, magnified 100 times, well, sort of. So these are the five pins on the USB connector. The pin on the top will go to the red wire, the second pin white wire, third pin green, the fourth pin is blank. The last pin, the one on the bottom, will go to the black wire. Alright, so I've got rid of the micro USB adapter and I solder my wires onto the USB-C adapter. Now I'm going to use my hot glue gun and seal the solder connections so they don't short out so here we go it protects the wires from shorting out and it also protects the solder joint from being bent or flexed too much next step is his swing tubing here we go it's beautiful 
So the next thing I'm going to do is to make a support base for this connector because it's flopping around too much and it's going to break. And if that breaks, it's going to break this connector and that's the end of my GoPro. So that support base is going to support the connector and also it's going to help seal this area. And for that, I'm going to use my homemade synthetic rubber. It's made from silicone and cornstarch stolen from my wife's kitchen. Remember this? Does it look familiar? Da -da! So this is the mold I made a couple of years back. It was made from silicone and cornstarch, 50-50 mixture. And the end result is a rubber-like material. And this is going to seal the weather real good. But first we got to remove this cover and just pull straight out. There we go. So next I'm going to put some tape on to seal the HDMI port so that silicone doesn't get into it. Before I put on the silicone, I need some releasing agent and I'm going to use petroleum jelly so that when I remove the silicone from the mold, it doesn't stick to the mold, in this case the camera. Just gonna smear it on lightly, just a very light layer. Don't need much. Alright, that's the silicone. I use black silicone because it's gonna match with the color of my camera. Unfortunately, not the same for the cornstarch, but I just have to deal with it. So here we go, 50-50, 50% cornstarch, 50% silicone. And I'm just going to mix it up first, add a little bit at a time, and then mix it up. Well, I just realized it's better to mix with my finger instead of this, because so little materials here, not much. Alright, this is about three minutes later. Now I get a consistency of uh, something like uh, wet clay, I'd say. It's less sticky. So it's, it's easier to work on than before. Alright, I think that's it. The color has changed from black to very dark gray. It's good to go. Alright. I have about, let's say, five to ten minutes of working time to put this into the mold. All right, here we go. It's like chewing gum, actually. It's still, still sticky. Here we go. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna wait for a few hours for it to dry. All right, it's been about four hours. I think it's cure, hopefully. And uh, let's see if I can take it out. I trim it a little bit. So here it is, looking from the inside. Well, this material is very soft and it's just like rubber. 
in case you're wondering what it is, it is silicone tool plus made by GE. Color is black. Let's plug it in. Here the click is in. This thing covers the entire surface on the outside. It also protects the cable from moving or bending. This piece of silicone will fit in here like a glove. So all the grooves will match. And let me show you how it works. So plug it in. Boom. And then I can push this down. Push this down. I can also unplug this if necessary, just like that. Now this camera has a mount so that I can use the camera on a tripod, on my helmet, on anything that I want to mount. Without this mount, uh, this camera is not very useful. So it must be mounted onto this case here. And as you can see, there's a cable sticking out. So we try to push in the case. This is on the way, so I'm going to have to cut this part here for it to clear the cable. So here we go. Alright, so let's try and see if it fits. Just like that. Boom. Very nice. Here you can see the silicone is underneath the plastic case. So now inside the case, it's being pressed down by the case. So that makes it even tighter. And even though it's very tight in here, I can remove the camera easily if I have to. So I just have to push on this side. And then it will just come out just like that very easily. And now if I want to use my internal battery instead, I can just unplug this. Come dry it out and install my internal battery and install my plastic door in here and I'm good to go. Right, moment of truth. I'm in the bathroom and let's give it a bath. The GoPro is connected to my USB power bank. Now let's turn it on. There you go. It's on. And I'm just gonna record its own bath. So press record, it's recording, ready? And it looks like, doesn't look like water. It's coming in. Check that out. It's very nice. Still recording. And let's kick it up a notch here. I'm in the bathtub with a bucket full of water. 12 inches deep. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I'm going to record this too. All right, recording. And we're in. We are still recording. Um, no bubble coming up. So that's a good sign. I'm gonna sink it all the way down to the bottom. There we go, all the way in the bottom. And hopefully you can still see the red light blinking all the way down there. The screen is red because the 
bucket is red. I inadvertently dip my power bank in the water too. You see water coming out. <laughs> Check this out, it's still working. Let's try again. You ready? Boom. This power bank is not waterproof, by the way. Still giving power. Wow. I'm impressed with the power bank, that is. All right, it's been over eight minutes underwater. And still recording. Check that out. Eight minutes, 16 seconds. Still works fine. No sign of water damage. Still recording. Okay, let's stop. All right, here we go. All right, so it's time for the inspection. Check and see how dry or wet it is inside the camera. So. Wow, it's completely dry inside. Check that out. That is pretty good. So there you have it. How to make your GoPro 7 waterproof when you're using an external battery. The next thing I need now is a waterproof USB port. If I can find a way to waterproof my power bank and the USB connection, then I can use the entire camera and the external battery underwater for an extended amount of time. Actually, I don't have to be underwater for the entire time. It's just a convenience for not having to lug around a whole bunch of these and switch them out all the time. It's just too time consuming and exhausting. So that's going to be my next project. Until next time, thanks for watching.